Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, we're going to do something a little different today. I've done a previous video where I carved the core of a golf ball, but I didn't show you how I get the cover off. So what I've got here is a pinnacle golf ball, and I've kind of marked the center where I want to make the cut. Um, there's several different ways to remove the cover, but what I find is... I use a Dremel tool, this is just the Dremel with the flex shaft, and then it's a grinding wheel attached to it. And I find that this does a really good job. Um, nothing special about the Dremel. Uh, you can use it without the flex shaft. I just happen to have this one on here, so it, it makes it a little bit easier to, to cut that cover off for me. It's a little bit easier to hold. So anyway, so I'm going to fire this up and uh, get it. I don't know, let's see. Uh, this one goes to 35,000 RPM, so we're gonna be about halfway. And all I wanna do is follow this line. So now that I've cut through that, you can kind of, hopefully you can see that in there, that, that this is kind of a light purple speckle color for the cover. Um, you're going to get, when you're, when you're using that, you're going to get all these that, that want to ball up and they'll have a tendency to uh, wrap around the uh, Dremel bit. And so you got to be careful of that because it'll start slinging hot plastic all over you, but that one wasn't too bad. So basically what I'm going to do now is I've got just a regular glove that I wear. It's a general carving glove. You've probably seen them. They've got the PVC dots on them. Um, so what I want to do now is I've got a really long flathead screwdriver that I use. And I'll stick it in between the cut that I made and pry up underneath that cover. So you kind of see how it is there. And then all I want to do is make a kind of a wiggle motion and push it and go all the way around this. And some of these are super easy to do and some of them are not. So just take your time. And the reason why I wear the glove is to have a good grip on this. And then also sometimes when you're wiggling, if it comes out, the screwdriver has a tendency to want to go into your hand and uh, that's not a real good feeling. So all I'm gonna do is stick it in there. I'm gonna push and work this cover off. When you get to a certain point, you're probably gonna hear a click sound or a pop sound, and that's releasing from the core. You can kinda of hear it going, and there it goes. So, cover comes off, there's the core. Um, so, from this point, obviously, this is the material that you're gonna be carving. Um, I've got one knife that I designate for uh, carving the golf balls, um, which not anything special. It's just easy to work with. So then what I'll do is I'll go around the golf ball and I'll clear off any of the, the stuff that's not real pleasant to look at. So then that way my finished carving is nice and nice and smooth. Just kind of clean it up, clean up the edges a little bit. So from that point, basically it's just, I like to find, so whenever this goes on a stand, you know, if you look at it from the back side, you'll see the pinnacle logo or whatever logo it is. And then I'll mark my center line and carve my face in it. So one of the neat things that you can do, and, and I'm not gonna show this on, on how I do it, but, the other day, kind of carved this, I don't know, old looking cowboy and, and I'll finish this to where it looks like he's wearing or he's smoking a cigarette. But basically I took the other shell of the golf ball and formed it so that way he's got a little cowboy hat. I've got some more shaping to do on this, but make it a little bit more defined here for the top of the hat. 
But basically what I'll do is when I'm done with this thing, sometimes I'll paint them and then other times I won't. I'll just leave the natural color of the golf ball. Now, this guy I probably will paint and um, make it so that he can we can put him on a stand and you know just have a, a neat little golf ball carving. Other things that I've done is uh, you can buy those little eye hooks and basically you screw it into the material. You can hang it from your golf bag, you can hang it from your car keys, whatever you want. But that's how I uh, get the cover off a golf ball. I've got a bunch of them ready to go. I've got lots more. But uh, it's a fun way to practice faces. They make great gifts. And um, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the subscribe button down below. And we'll see you on the next video.